welcome back to my channel easy and Internet. in previous videos we have seen two types of registers that is nothing but serial input serial output serial input parallel output in this video i am going to explain about parallel input serial output register okay that is nothing but piso register this is the black diagram of parallel input serial output register see here i have considered four stages nothing but four flip flops i have considered here because i want to store four bits of data you can consider three or five or two whatever you want so i want to store four bits of data so i am considering four stages of flip uh, register okay first one second one third one fourth one i am taking four inputs like this because parallel input i have to apply my input parallelly so same time i am going to apply all my inputs to the flip flops so my input to the register is parallel and my output is taken here see at this point after fourth flip flop this is serial output parallel input and serial output so this is the block diagram i have drawn using d flip flop listen carefully so for four stages i have considered four flip flops first input second input third and fourth four inputs i have applied parallelly to the four flip flops and clock pulse is applied simultaneously and this is the output so i have to consider parallel inputs here and i have to get my serial output this is the clock pulse now you we'll see in this type of operations data is entered parallelly parallelly means like this data is entered parallelly and output is taken in serial manner or serial fashion okay so this parallel input serial output register acts as it is nothing but opposite operation of serial input to parallel output we have already seen in the previous video it is exact opposite operation of csi po register and the data output is obtained one by one after each clock pulse so how many clock pulses are required and what is this we will see in the next slides so keep this point in mind four clock pulses are required to get our data so let's see this is the parallel input serial output again i am considering d flip flops to design this register okay initially before applying clock pulse and before applying the input my outputs are see q3 q2 q1 q0 my outputs are zero because there is no clock pulse and there is no input and i have to enter i am going to enter four ones as input see here four ones i have to apply parallelly so one 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 i am going to apply like this please pay attention because serial input serial output serial input parallel output these two operations are different from parallel input parallelly i am applying all my data inputs okay and i want to check my output here and clock pulse is also applied and let's see how it is going to be this is my clock diagram and see here initially see black one 0 0 0 0 these are my outputs without any clock pulse and without any inputs that is nothing but initial output values now i have applied 1 1 1 1 red color these as inputs now see here for this flip flop so clock pulse is also applied now for this flip flop 1 is input so 1 is my output because this is d flip flop transparent flip flop for this flip flop one is input so one is output again for this flip flop one is input one is output again for this flip flop one is input and one is output see here i am applying four ones as input parallelly and my output is so this is my output please pay attention this is my output but not all this i am taking my output serially so here i have to take my output so this is my output and 1 1 1 1 this is nothing but data is stored in the register please pay attention data is stored in the register whatever i have entered data is stored in the register and 
my output is 1. Okay. So, Q3, Q2, Q1, Q0 values are 4 ones. Okay. This is the tabular representation of parallel input serial output. Again, see here, initially 0, 0, 0, 0 is my output values before applying my clock pulse. See, okay. initially I am placing zeros here. So, if you don't know how you are getting all this, again listen. So, I will explain here. Initially, zero zeros I have placed here. During the first clock pulse, during the first clock pulse, one value is applied to D3, D2, D1, D0 parallelly. So, simultaneously, I am applying 1, 1, 1, 1 as input to four flip flops. So, what it is going to be? 1 is output, 1 is output, again 1 is output. One is output. My output values are Q3 is 1, Q2 1, Q1 1, Q0 1. See, all outputs are ones. See, I am entering my data parallelly and parallelly outputs are ones. But we want serial output. Serial means at this point only we have to get our output values only at this point. So, if you consider like this, it becomes parallel. Don't consider like this. We have to consider here that is nothing but serial manner. One by one, you have to get your values here. So, first you got one here. See here, one. So, one. Okay. But you want again three values. So, don't apply any input here. So, it is okay. And now, I am going to erase all this. Okay. Now, see. After the first clock pulse, one is my value. But I want remaining three ones in serial manner one by one so next I, I want to get one so again apply second clock pulse and don't apply any input either zero or one don't apply any value now it becomes zero so now see it becomes zero here and previous output values are one 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 so this one is going to be the input for next there is nothing so please just erase this now, for this flip flop, one is input, so it becomes one. For this flip flop, one is input, so it becomes one. For this flip flop, one is input, so again it becomes one. For this flip flop, I have applied nothing, it means it is zero. Zero, one, one, one is my answer. See, zero, triple one is my answer. Okay. Again, I got my value. Okay. Next, again. So, what is 0, triple 1 is my answer, right? So, I am placing here 0, triple 1 is my answer. So, I am going to apply this to the next one. So, there is nothing in next. So, just erase this one. For this flip flop, 1 is input. So, 1 is output. For this flip flop, 1 is input. So, 1 is output. For this flip flop, 0 is input. So, 0 is output. For this flip flop, I have applied nothing. But, clock pulse is applied. So, it becomes 0. 0, 0, 1, 1. See, 0, 0, 1, 1. Because I am not going to give any values here. So, here I am giving nothing means it becomes 0. Similarly, last one. So, first one, second one, third one, four ones. See here, I have applied four ones parallelly and I got four ones one by one in serial manner. So, this is parallel input and serial output. So, parallel input and serial output. Okay. So, how many clock pulses are required to get all the outputs means 4 clock pulses are required. See, 4 clock pulses are required to get my output in serial manner. So, that is what I have mentioned here. Okay. 4 clock cells cycles are required. 4 clock cycles are required to load 4 bit word. Okay. Okay. Now, this is about parallel input serial output. In my next video, I will explain about parallel input and parallel output and applications. Okay. Thank you.